I've mentioned this before. One of the secrets, maybe the main secret, to a lot of the wall plane flower stuff is being able to slightly invert your planes. And I want to talk more about learning that for the first time. By inverting, I mean, you can imagine the planes being flat on a wall plane. And you can imagine them drifting so they're uh, angled away from you. What you want to be able to do, and hopefully you can see this, is angle them towards you uh, just a little bit. That way they fit inside my arms. So my right paw is angled a little bit towards this shoulder or this elbow, and my left paw is angled towards this shoulder or this elbow, so the paw fit inside, and I can get my hands really close together. And that makes all of this a lot prettier because I can keep my hands close so I can make good buzzsaws. Um, it's a really annoying thing uh, to get it first for a lot of people. And the trick is just drilling one hand at a time from what I've seen. So that means you pick a direction. Like I'm going to have both my poi going clockwise. I can take my right poi and it's coming up in the middle, so I'm going to slowly bring it towards buzzsaw, so it's coming up my body. And make sure you don't do this. There's no crisscrossing. You're just slightly bending the plane. My left point going clockwise. It's coming down the middle. So as I bend that plane towards a buzzsaw plane, it's coming down my chest. Back to wall plane, down my chest back to wall plane, and a lot of people default to this. That's, that's your muscle memory wanting you to do something it understands, but that's not what we want to do here. We just bend the plane. To learn this, you might have to spend a lot of time, one point at a time, going, okay, the right point's going clockwise, it bends towards forward buzzsaw. Left is going clockwise, it bends towards backward buzzsaw. Right clockwise, forward buzzsaw, left clockwise backward buzzsaw, right clockwise, forward buzzsaw. And so it'll be until the muscle memory begins to work. And that might be several days of doing it a little bit every day. Another thing that helps a lot is I can start with the right poi forward buzzsaw and the left poi backward buzzsaw. And that, if you find that really difficult, that's the problem, that uh, doing split time opposites is messing with you. So you just need to learn, okay, right forward, left backward. And eventually you can reverse engineer it where from here I'm going to just let them relax onto a wall plane and then go back into it. And then they'll relax onto a wall plane and go back into it. Now what I've seen when people go to do that, they revert well, at least one of their point of this again. And that's again muscle memory and it's not what we're doing right now. We want to go from opposites to split time in the same on a wall plane. Opposites, split time on a wall plane. Doesn't work. Right poi, practice back and forth. Left poi, practice back and forth. And if it doesn't work today, that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your poi skills. It might just mean you have to come back to it every day, one hand at a time. And then at some point it'll click. And uh, also making sure you can start in opposites um, and eventually you'll drift to wall plane and then you can go back and uh, eventually what you do is you just a little bit invert wall plane, a little bit invert wall plane. Um, or you can orb, you can take them through these full ranges of motion where they go, you bend the planes through 160 and then you do have to jump your arms at some point. And that's a very cool exercise. So with this one, it does, I mean, I've seen often people need to persist for a while, but uh, the payoff is good because once you have control of those planes, you can invert them a little bit, a bunch of moves start getting easier. Hope that helps. Uh, check out my online poi courses. I hope your pea plants are also coming up.